Welcome back. I've gotten quite a bit done since the last video and here you can see me building a cart on which to rest the fuselage. I bought some urethane wheels, um, two roll or two um, spinning wheels and two stationary wheels with locks or brakes and that's been very convenient for moving it around. It also got the fuselage down on a lower level um, so it's a little easier to bend over and reach in to do some work. Here you can see me putting in the floorboards in the front on the passenger side. After doing this, I decided that I was going to get a pneumatic riveter, um, which has its own issues, uh, but definitely is a lot faster. Installing the landing gear mounts was fairly time-consuming and uh, somewhat difficult. I highly recommend making a tapered pin to help align the screw holes. Um, it went a lot faster on the, on the pilot side than the passenger side. Here we are riveting together the forward front upper fuselage assembly, um, which is a separate piece. I ended up just clecoing it into place on the fuselage just because that seemed like one of the best places to store it. It was pretty exciting to connect the tail cone to the fuselage for the first time. I definitely had to make some more room in the garage. I still have no idea how Jason Ellis managed to put this on by himself. It was difficult enough with two helpers. Here you can see the skin bowing above the baggage door cutout, and initially I was a little concerned about it, but after putting everything together and getting things riveted back together, it lays down very nicely.
So just as I was getting ready to uh, rivet down the baggage floors, I saw a note in the instructions that says to consider your wiring choices now. And that led me down the rabbit hole of running conduit and making access panels, which took about a week. And actually I'm still waiting for my last couple of pieces for the conduit so I can finish the right side of the conduit. But I've got it pretty much set and I've got one of the baggage floors down now and as much riveted on the pilot side as I can at this point. side of the baggage area and the rear seats ready to put on the floorboards. I built two access panels, um, one for the step area if needed and one for the antenna. I've also put in a doubler under here which is attached to the rib as well. If you have the option I would recommend putting that in long before you rivet all this together. You can fabricate it before you uh, rivet on the floor of the fuselage. It'd probably be a lot easier. And I've also put a couple of holes in here for my conduit. And I used a hair dryer to bend this, make it more mold moldable or malleable. And so I'm ready to put in these floor, or floor panels now. <laughs> 